everyone. So in this video, I'm going to talk about the courses that I've gone through as an undergraduate computer engineering student. Um, I've gotten a lot of questions about what courses I've taken, and it all depends on the college that you're going to. In terms of the classes themselves, the content is pretty much the same. So let's get started. Okay, so I'm just going to list the courses that I've um, taken for this college that I graduated from, because I think the first year I had taken other courses like introductory courses, um, entry level courses at a different college. I went to ASU for the first year and then I had moved to a different college uh, from the sophomore year on until I graduated. So I'm just going to go over those courses from sophomore year on. First course is um, introductory macroeconomics. This isn't part of computer engineering. It was just one of the extra credits that I had to take so that I didn't have to pay as much for tuition. So you have to take at least 15 credit hours in order to get like a better deal on the tuition rate. So I took introductory to macroeconomics um, and then I took English 219, which is a tech and professional writing. And that is just for my basic core classes of getting, you know, the English and social studies and all that stuff. Physics 161, so general physics, as well as physics 161 lab for the spring of 2017. I took circuits one, um, which was ECE 203. And then I took ECE 206, which was instrumentation. And that was just a lab. Um, ECE 231 was intermediate programming. ECE 238 uh, was computer logic design. And that was mostly just a lab. And then I took rock music appreciation. Once again, had to fill some credits. So just ignore that. Um, summer of 2017, I had to catch up on some credits. So I did take one course and that was circuits two, which was ECE 213. And then fall of 2017, I took Anthropology 150, which is again to fill up credits. Then I took ECE 314, which was Signals and Systems. Then ECE 321, which was Electronics 1. And that was um, a lab and a lecture combined. So it was four credits, but it was also very hard. There was a lot of, it was very involved. Um, ECE 340, which was Probabilistics Methods in Engineering, which was basically probability. Um, I, that one wasn't too bad. And then I took Math 327, which was Discrete Structures. And that was part of the engineering degree. It wasn't to fill up any credits. So you did have to take Discrete Structures. I just took Math instead. I think there was an ECE course for that. Um, but I know that the professor for this Math ECE, or for this Math 327 course, he's actually really good. So that's another thing you have to look out for. Um, there's other courses like in other departments, such as uh, computer science or math, that can fit into the ECE course or the ECE department and can be transferred over to that department. Um, so if you know of a professor that's better in that other one in you know, computer science department or you have some friends that are in that area and they say, hey, you should take this course because the professor's cool, it's easier, the workload's not as much, then I'd suggest doing that and then just transfer the credits over as an ECE course. It works, so it just depends on the um, university as well. Spring of 2018, I took um, Anthropology 130, Cultures of the World, which is again, fill up credits. Um, ECE 330, which is software design. ECE 331, data structures and algorithms. Um, ECE 344, which was microprocessors. And that's where it starts to get more into computer engineering and more specific into the either hardware or software track, depending on where you wanna go. So that involves a lot of, like I had said in previous videos, uh, working with the hardware and having the microprocessor do certain things depending on the um, low-level programming language, such as assembly language. And then I took Econ 212, which was personal investing. I just, once again, fill up credits, um, <laughs> but this was actually something that was more interesting to me at the point. Fall of 2018, I took ECE 335, which is Integrated Software Systems. And then I took ECE 419, which is Senior Design 1, because I'm a senior now. ECE 437, which was computer operating systems. This class was a lot more geared towards computer engineering students because there were also computer science students in this course. A lot of the other courses that I had taken um, involved electrical engineering students. So it was just computer engineering and electrical engineering students, um, except for this computer operating systems. There was a lot of computer science uh, students in there. And then there was Econ 300, which was Intermediate Microeconomics 1, again, more of like interest and to fill up credits. 
And then I took STAT 427, which is Advanced Data Analysis. And this isn't really a specific course that you have to take for computer engineering. It was just more of like a technical elective, upper division technical elective that I had to take. So it's up to you on that one. Um, and then spring of 2019, I took ECE 420, which was Senior Design 2. And these senior designs are just one, one long year long project that you do with a group of people or there's three or four of you that work on one large project and then you present it at the end of the year. So that's what senior design one and senior design two are. And then there's ECE 435, which was software engineering. And that's more on the software track of um, computer engineering. So if you wanted to go to the hardware track of computer engineering, then I think you would be doing more BSLI design and more of the signals or hardware development or something like that. Um, the other courses that I had taken were ECE 440, which was Intro to Computer Networks, um, ECE 495, which was Advanced Topics in MATLAB, and then ECE 529, which was Intro to Technical Cybersecurity. And this class was a graduate level course that I could take because I was in this program called the 4 plus 1 program and you can share credits from your undergraduate degree and have it um, transferred to your graduate degree or you can also take graduate level courses uh, as an undergraduate. So I was signed up for that and then because of that I'm able to graduate in one year and I should be graduating with my master's degree hopefully um, this spring semester 2020. So then I taken those courses and then the last course I had taken of spring 2019 was ECE 530 and that was cloud computing or no, I did not take that class. So those were all the courses that I had taken for spring of 2019. Um, and right now I have, I'm taking graduate level courses cause I'm going for my master's degree in computer engineering. This past fall semester, I took machine learning which was ECE 517 and then ECE 537 which is foundations of computing and then ECE 538, which was Advanced Computer Architecture, and ECE 540, which was Advanced Networking. So right now that's what I've taken, and then I plan to be taking these upcoming courses, although I don't really know if I'm going to be taking them, so I can't really say which ones they are yet, because I, I, I'm still undecided on some of them, even though you know school's gonna start in two weeks, but I'm gonna figure it out. So yeah, I thought I would just go over those uh, that list of courses. And if you have any questions, please let me know. And yeah, see you later. Bye.